Hello world, Shelly here, and today we are going to try some eyeshadow from Aldi. I'm an Aldi lover. I was not always an Aldi lover. I wish when I was younger I was an Aldi lover because it really could have benefited me price-wise back in the day, but I didn't have an Aldi near me for a long time, and then when I finally did, I was like, what? It's all generic? Uh-uh, no. But, you know, eventually you grow up and you realize that the generics are all made by the same companies that the big names are made of, and they're just white-labeled. So... I'm told that this is an excellent dupe for some of the Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. The brand is La Cura. This is Naturals number three. It is giving me super serious, like, makeup revolution dupe vibes, like the plasticky, metal-y container, which my brush is now falling out, but it does come with a dual-ended brush. I usually don't use these because I don't like dual-ended brushes because I store mine vertically, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But those are the, the, that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting out of the packaging here. We're gonna find out. Let's just find out. I'm thinking that I'm gonna do a pinky neutral, so like that color is going to let me not blind you with my light. That color will play in here. I'm thinking the that will probably be my crease transition shade. We've got some shimmers back here. I'll use something darker in the outer corner. Something lighter for the inner third. That's the plan. You want to do an eyeshadow look? Let's do an eyeshadow look and see how this thing goes. I need to prime my lids with my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Where is it? Right here. All right. So I stirred up my MAC Paint. I'm still going on this one this one jar, you guys. It's kind of a miracle. And the thing is, this stuff never dries out. When you think it's starting to dry out, just stir it up like I did. And it's, it's just back to magic. It's so good. I'm just... It's my... I don't need another eye primer for the rest of my life. I really don't. There's nothing is going to change my love for the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. It has literally never failed me as an eye primer. I know it's supposed to be an eyeshadow, a whatevs, it's a primer to me. Painterly for the cool toned amongst us, soft ochre is the shade you want if you are warmer or yellow undertone. All right, let's find my Wayne Goss number three. Now, Wayne Goss's old brushes. Man, have you seen some of his videos lately? Whoo, boy. His old brush line doesn't seem like it's coming back. I think he will only have the new brushes that he just put out. I did get a couple of them. I haven't used them a ton yet to have a full opinion of them, but I'm sure they're fantastic because I love his brushes. Holy cow. He's had some uh, ups and downs in his business life. Should I zoom you guys in? Let's zoom you guys in. Let's see how close we can get where it's not going to be obnoxious. Sorry, I'm moving my mirror so I can see what I'm doing here. Because I'm going to be looking here while you guys are looking at me. Alright, so I'm going to start with the shade Subtle. This one here and use it as sort of a transition, sort of crease. It will... It will be less of the crease and more of the transition once I go in here with a darker shade. But that actually has more color than I anticipated. Alright, we need to make sure this camera is going to focus. Am I crazy? Is it not focused right now? I'm going to take my Sigma E25 into the shade Latte. These do look a lot lighter in the pan than they look on the lids, which is good because they were looking a bit weak in the pans to me. But this level of payoff is just fine. They're blending easily. No trouble. No trouble. I've got my Smith 253 brush, and I think I'm going to go in with this espresso shade on the end and use this 
has the, whoa, that is darker than I expected. I guess I should have already known that because I just finished telling you that the shades are darker on the lid than they look in the pan. <laughs> it's fine, it's all fine, it's all fine. I'm gonna blend out a darker shade in the crease anyway, so we're gonna be fine. It's a very pretty, pretty undertone there. I wiped off that same brush. We're gonna go into that bling pink shade and use this across the center of the lid. Same brush, wiped it off. I'm gonna go into the shade next to it, Rockstar. And use this for the inner third. I love the pointed tip on this brush. See how it fits just right into that inner corner? It's perfection. I'll take my little Wayne Goss number 20, a very dirty, and <laughs> the shade next to that espresso shade, brownie. I would do espresso, but it's a little more of a satin finish, and I this one looks like it's a little bit closer to a matte. So I'm going to take the one closer to a mat and attempt to deepen our outer corner a little bit. Do the old outer seven like sugar puff and fluff. That one did not have as much pigment as I expected compared to the others. Which now that I know that is good because it makes life easier, I think. I want a dark shade that has payoff but I don't want it to like run me over where one false move and I mess up the whole look. You know what I'm saying? I want a little bit of flexibility there. You see how that's like a number seven? Mm, such a good trick. I wiped off my number 20 brush and I'm gonna go back into that matte shade subtle and just make sure that we don't lose the soft blend. I'm barely, 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 barely touching the skin. Wayne Goss number five, my little pencil brush. I'm going to go into that shade Latte one more time on the lower lash line and get just a little bit down here. Now, I'm probably gonna go I'm gonna add a little bit of brownie, that dark matte on the outer third, just to give it a little bit more definition. I've got my Crown C153, oh, you can see it, there we go. And I'm going to use this lightest matte champagne for my brow bone highlight and I'm going to use pixie for my inner corner. So let's do a little pixie, shall we? That's nice. And champagne for the brow bone. All right, Physicians Formula has a new super slim version of their eyeliner. This one is waterproof, and if you recall, they have been sort of a dupe for the old KVD tattoo liner back in the day. Well, this is an even thinner version of the brush. I'm gonna try to do some liner. Uh, I don't do this very often anymore, so this could be a disaster. Let's try. All right, here is the finished look. I am really loving the undertone of that deeper matte shade. It is just a perfect 
neutral leaning cool like this this palette is just a smidge on the cool tone side which is my happy place so I'm very pleased what do I think well let, let me tell you what else I did waterline 24 7 waterline pencil my mascara is the color street triflex forgot to curl my lashes so all that heavy lifting is being done by the mascara my face if you are interested in seeing how I got the rest of this look check out Wednesday's video because I'm testing out some more from the Physicians Formula 2024 line, their Butter Glow Contour Wand, their latest Butter Glow Bronzer and Blush, and of course you saw the liner pencil. So, not pencil, well, pen, eyeliner, pen, liquid liner, whoa. Words. I'm also wearing, surprise, surprise, color plop, color plop. <laughs> there's, there's a meme in there somewhere. Color pop ultra blotted lip. I think this is the one called still an icon. Mm-hmm. Because I can't find my lip gloss. I, I don't, where, where'd my lip gloss go? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So we're wearing this, even though I would love to put a lip gloss on right now. Mmm, dry, feeling dry, feeling dry. But let's talk about this eyeshadow. I like it. I think it's totally fine. I think, you know, am I going to stop buying Natasha Denona? No, I'm not. But that is because I'm an eyeshadow hoarder and I love buying eyeshadow and I love a good deal and I love bougie things. So I'm going to buy the ones that all make me happy. They all make me happy. But I tried a whole bunch of shades out of this palette. There's only one, two, three, four maybe five shades that I didn't try. The mattes blended nicely. The shimmers have plenty of payoff. Are they like the most amazing things ever? No, but they're quite affordable. I wanna say this was less than five bucks, if I'm not mistaken. It was really inexpensive. I also picked up the smoky eye version of it. They didn't have, there was, a, there was also a warm toned one and then one of them was out of stock. It's kind of one of those things where you have to catch them like right when they come out otherwise they're gone because I went back I got these a week ago and I went back just the other day and they were already gone so be fast if you're into the Aldi stuff you know it's all in that Isle of Shame type of thing although my store rearranged itself and doesn't really have an Isle of Shame anymore there's it's like broken into a few different aisles I don't know I kind of liked having it all in one place I like the Isle of Shame there's no shame there for me that's that's where you like go to Aldi and you you go there to pick up lettuce and bananas and you leave with like drill bits and a cat bed and makeup so you know that the Isle of Shame is more like an Isle of Joy to me but yeah, I don't know. My store kind of rearranged the AOS. The AOS isn't really there anymore. So there you have it. I'm a fan. I will totally buy eyeshadow palettes when they put them out there. I don't know if this uh, La, La Cura brand is all of the Aldi eyeshadow or if it's just this particular launch of it. But I approve. It gets... Shelly's thumbs up. There you have it. Another, I was going to say episode. There's no episode. This is not episodic in nature. Uh, if Aldi were to put makeup out regularly, I could make a whole series on Aldi makeup. Because I am an Aldi fan. I'm also about to sneeze. I'm trying not to. I love Aldi. Love me some Aldi. So I'm very happy that this is acceptable. Yay! <laughs> there you have it another day another try on checking out new things let me know what else should I get my hands on there's a five below that just opened by me but I went through their makeup section and there was really like nothing there just like some random like basics of drugstore makeup they did I don't know maybe maybe because it was brand new half the shelves were still empty but let me know what should I check out comments down below. Do you want me to do a Dollar Tree makeup haul and do that? I saw that video going around. Tati did it. Saw a few people doing it. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Happy New Year and take care of each other. Bye-bye.